My name is Mark Anderson. I am the director of the Europe Office. Uh, the Europe Office is a particularly unique initiative within Glasgow Caledonian University. Um, it's unique for three reasons. Firstly, unlike Europe offices in other universities, which tend to be quite reactive in the way they respond, what we do is we try and take a much more proactive approach where we scope for opportunities and identify the academics that we feel are most suitable for the, for the opportunities that are available. The second reason why I think we're, we're, we're different to other universities is that our office looks at non-research projects as well. So we look at projects that are coming out, opportunities that are coming out of the European Commission to fund non-research projects, especially under the Erasmus Plus programme. The third reason is that the Europe office actually um, runs its own European projects. And most of these European projects are actually funded for, for initiatives outside Europe. So we have projects within Central and Latin America, within uh, the Middle East and North Africa, and in East Africa as well. And so today, we've decided in the official launch to bring together all the various funding streams and to give our own academics a chance to talk about their experiences of working with Europe. Hi, I'm Ed Ricketts. I'm um, based in Scotland, Europa in Brussels. Today has been a really useful um, event to get people together from across the university and to try and talk about the opportunities represented by European Union funding. Um, we've heard presentations from a number of um, speakers on different opportunities on Horizon 2020, on the Erasmus Plus funding, um, also from the post-award team on some of the issues related to um, how to manage European Union funded projects. I think for my programme, which is about cross-sector collaboration and innovation, the fact that there's a single office that can get different academic disciplines together and get them working together is quite exciting because that's where innovation occurs from those unusual forms of collaboration. So I think the benefit of today has really been, in, I think, promoting the excellent work of the office and what Mark and his colleagues can offer to, to researchers in the university, but also to bring people together from different departments across the university and to kind of multiply and disseminate information in a targeted way.